Police operations that are carried out here in the Observation and Intelligence Center are one of the many police operations and the technology that's used by the Israeli National Police. We also coordinate and work together with the Jerusalem municipality with hundreds of cameras across other parts of the city in order to prevent and arrive at the scenes of any terrorist attack as they take place. What we've seen over the last couple of weeks due to the fact of the increase of terrorist attacks, it's critical that the cameras are working, focusing on individuals, focusing on suspects. هذه الكاميرات اثبتت للمقدسيين بانها وضعت من اجل انتهاك حرياتهم وانتهاك خصوصياتهم وهي كاميرات امنيه للاحتلال الاسرائيلي بامتياز المفارقه الغريبه العجيبه في موضوع الكاميرات في البلده القديمه عندما يتعرض مواطن للسرقه او للسطو او ما شابه ذلك ويذهبون الى مراكز الشرطه الاسرائيليه المسؤوله عن الكاميرات يتحججون بان الكاميرات لا تعمل بينما عندما يكون هناك القاء للحجاره او اي حادث يتعلق بامنهم يسارعون باظهار هذه الكاميرات Uh, the cameras that are used here, everyone in the old city is fully aware that there are 320 cameras and it's very efficient and very effective. This is a response that is necessary in the same way that across Europe, the different major cities across Europe, London, Paris, and in America, New York, there are cameras all over the place. So in the same way, these cameras are all over the city of Jerusalem with emphasis here in the old city, guarding the most sensitive and uh, important sites. And if necessary, uh, we can also backtrack 48 hours any incident that has taken place and therefore carry out a thorough investigation as to how the attacker made his way inside the old city, which gate did he come in through, which pathway did he make his way into, and how did he in fact make his way into Jerusalem if he came in from Judea and Samaria. All of those parts of the puzzle are put together and can be done even after a terrorist attack takes place.